Hey guys, hey everyone, DMotoVlux here. Just before I start the video, I know you guys want to see that, but I'd like to put in something. I want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to all of you guys and your families, to you guys who are watching. I also want to thank you guys again. I know I say this all the time. Thanks for almost 4K subs. I'm at 3,689 as it stands right now as I'm recording. And uh, it's crazy that I got that much in one single season. I know there's people that got higher in a season, but I am so thankful for this because all I'm trying to do, all the <laughs> all I'm trying to do is spread joy and happiness to all of you guys and to people that are watching. I don't care about the subscriber count. I just care that people are watching and people are liking, leaving comments. Um, they just enjoy the stuff I'm putting out there, and I really love that. Um, so thank you guys for your love and support, and I'm gonna go straight to the video. Merry Christmas. See you guys. Take your time. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, bye. Demoto Vlogs here bringing you another video. Today I'm going to be going over a topic that was ta uh, that was asked about by a subscriber, a good friend of mine, goes by the name of Suburban Delinquent. He's been receiving a lot of love, so you guys go show him some love. He's the guy who made me do the. Uh, the pizza for the homeless challenge if you guys have seen that video if you haven't go check it out because uh, he, he made me he, he made a good challenge or he, he actually accepted which I didn't think he would do we both started at around the same time uh, motor vlogging I mean so we were at around the same subscriber base, a few hundred, and we decided to challenge each other doing that uh, touching a police car challenge, and the loser would have to buy pizza for the homeless. So either way, it's a win-win. Um, and I thought it was, it was awesome. It was a good collaboration, and I was glad that I did it, and I'm glad we're buddies. He's a SoCal motor vlogger, so go check him out. Suburban Delinquent. Yeah! Wow, voice crack. Suburban Delinquent gave me the topic, sibling nonsense. So I'll give you my take on what I think he means, and also expand upon it. So, sibling nonsense. I'm guessing sibling nonsense means uh, is there any dumb stuff that happens or silly stuff that happens between me and my little sister? I have a little sister for you guys who don't know. Um, yes, there is. Like we're we're very mean to each other, but at the same time, like you know, family gotta love them. <laughs> She's gonna watch this and be like, "Wow, okay, I see how it is." No, but it's it's fun, I guess. Uh, you know, sibling nonsense. You argue, you play, laugh, you know, go through stuff together. You know, the average. Wouldn't say our our sibling connection. Wow, that was a red light. Red light runner. Uh, I wouldn't say our brotherly and sisterly connection is. Uh, abnormal, not abnormal, but like, uh, is uh, over average or above average. I'd say it's like, yeah, we, we argue with each other, but at the end of the day, you still love them, they're family. <laughs> Let's see who runs the red. Red runner, red runner. What is going on? 
That's two within a few minutes. Not even a minute, two minutes. Jeez. Anyways, um, that's... So that's our uh, relationship. It's arguing. I annoy her a lot. Uh, no, I'm not sorry because... I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that's the connection. Any nonsense, uh, I guess I'll say stories. So when she was smaller, uh, we had this we had this little uh, office chair. Well, it was actually kind of big for her, but it's an office chair. You know, one of those that go like, uh, they go up and down and they like roll around. Yeah, those. And they spin. Those ones are so good. Anyways, we had one upstairs for whatever reason in our living room. And she sat on it. I would spin her around because she laughed and I liked her laugh when I was smaller. Um, so I did it. For, for both of us to have an enjoyment, I guess. I was bored and I didn't play video games at the time. I had nothing better to do. So... We did that, and I told her, like, I was like, do not stand up. You might fall and hurt yourself. She was like, okay, don't worry. And I told my parents, this is what's happening. And they're like, be careful, don't let her stand up. I'm like, okay, I won't. What does she do? Mid-spin, we're spinning really fast. And then she gets dizzy. She stands up on the chair, flies off, hits her, uh, like, right on the side of her eye, on the corner of a dish cabinet, and, like, she's just, like, lying on the ground, like, not moving. And I'm like, uh, did I just, did that, that just, what? Uh, duh. I was just so lost in it. And I'm like, did she die? So I, like, I looked at her, kind of rolled her over a bit, and I'm like, argh, 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 and then, you know, uh, calling her name, and, um, she did... She did kind of get up a little bit, um, and she started crying, and I'm like, oh my gosh, thank goodness, you know, thank God. Jeez, if she died, holy mackerel. So she got up, and then my parents, they heard the loud thump, like it sounded like someone just dropped dead. upstairs and like what happened? Daniel, what happened? What hey bye ooh your sister what what why is she on the ground? And then I'm like oh my gosh I'm gonna die. I'll, I'm gonna die today. I will sacrifice my life for you Raquel I save you okay good you don't die I die for you okay so I got in trouble. Um, I did explain it to my parents and they understood. But at the same time, they're like, you know she's still a baby. You know she's still a baby. Why you do this? Like, I want to make her laugh. I want to make her laugh, okay? She laugh nice and I like, so I do it, okay? Yeah, glad that I didn't get like belted or like hit with a metal spoon or whatever. I just got in trouble, but not nothing major. <clears throat> so that was crazy. So moral of the story is don't don't play with your baby sister or any baby on a spinning chair unless they are tied down with duct tape. That's a major story, I guess. Um, there's, there's so many to talk about. Um, oh, another one, another funny one. We were in the mall. I was walking around with my sister and um, my parents were just buying some stuff other, or over in the other aisle. And um, 
my parents called us to go. We are going to go finish buying some stuff and head to the cashier. So once we hit, or once we got to the cashier, keep in mind uh, she's probably six at the time. Um, she walks up to some random guy that's wearing like the same colored shirt and pants as my dad in the next, like one aisle over in the cashiers. And she literally grabs onto him, like just bear hug, and starts jumping up and down. <laughs> I look at the guy, I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> the guy looks down and he starts laughing. And she looks up, notices it's not my dad, and just like, <laughs> <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm dying, Ebola. Why are you stopping? Nice blinker, bud. So yeah, she noticed it wasn't him and she started like, she freaked out, looked at me and then just like darted away. And I went to grab her. It was hilarious. And she's like, dang it, I was so embarrassed. I'm like, it's, it's fine. Oh, that made my day. That was pretty funny. Um, there's honestly too many to say, but um, I'd say there's a lot of nonsense, and it's very, very funny. It is very, very funny. Without that nonsense, like honestly, <laughs> you know, without nonsense, life wouldn't be fun. They see him rolling, they hate him. He's gonna cut your lawn and probably your fingers. Nice stop. Look at that. Mint. See that line? The form he had? Look, I'll play it again. You know in like games like Gran Turismo, like most most racing games, they have that yellow line that you gotta follow or that green line or whatever. Yeah, he was following that to a T. He was using that corner properly. So thanks Suburban Delinquent for the topic. It made me laugh, made my day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully you guys are having a great winter and uh, yeah, have fun. Get some construction action for you guys. Chia. Oh yeah, make us famous, we'll take you with us. Subscribe to D-Moto Vlog. Don't do it.